this section, we're going to talk about system of linear equations using matrix method. And sometimes it calls uh, Gus Jordan elimination method. Okay, so let's see what's matrix. Matrix look like this. So from the equation, this is the system of linear equations, but matrix do not have any variable. You only use the numbers. And we call this as two by three matrix. 2 comes from the row, 3 comes from the columns. So you read your matrix row by column. So row comes first. And each number is called element. Each number is called elements. You have a six elements here. If you have only um, if you have only one column matrix, you call that column matrix. And if you have one, row matrix that's called going to be row matrix so let's see if we be able to solve example one using matrix systems first thing you wanted to do is you wanted to write it in a matrix it means get rid of all the variable just copy down the numbers so it'll be three four and one oops that's too long right one and then second equations, you have x4, 1, y4, negative 2, and solution is 7. So remember, this first uh, column is representing x, second columns represent y, the third is going to be the solutions. Your goal here is trying to make your matrix look like 1, 0, and the solutions, and 0, one and solutions if you can create this matrix look like that since you have uh, zero x one y equals to b your solution for y is going to be b from the second row first row your x is one y is zero so x equals to a so your solution for x is going to be uh, a right so you, you wanted to make this 2, 0, and this 2, uh, 1. And the order you wanted to follow, you wanted to do making this one 0 first, so that will be the first thing you wanted to do. And then you wanted to make this number 1, that's going to be the second step. And then you wanted to make the first row, second column 0. That will be the third steps and make this one one that's the four steps so i'm going to show you using the examples how i we will do that let's see so how do i make this one zero because that's the first thing you wanted to do right how do i make this one zero well if i can make this negative three i can add those two row and cancel out and it will be zero right so what i need to do is i'm going to use the uh i'm going to use the row one as it is which is three four and one but row two i'm going to multiply that by negative three so one time negative three is negative three negative two negative two times negative three is positive six 7 times negative 3 is going to be negative 21. When you add this 2, you get 0. And this is going to be 10. And this is going to be negative 20. Right? So I made uh, 0. First row, uh, second row, first column, 0. But remember, the second step, I need to make the the second column one so how do I make this one divide by 10 so I'm going to divide this whole thing by 10 because you cannot just do anything to the one side and not do the other side the whole thing divide by 10 I will get 0 1 negative 2 and we're going to call this as new row 2 so when I'm writing this, new row 2 is going to be 0, 1, and negative 2, right? I got 0, 1. That, that was my goal for the, the second row, right? This will give me x, 0, 
one y, so y is equals to negative two as the solutions, right? Now, let's work on the row one. So again, I wanted to make zero first, right? So in order to make this zero, I need to uh, multiply this by uh, negative four so that it will be opposite of this four, right? Because I'm trying to make this one zero. So again, use row one as it is, which is three, four, one, but new row two, I'm going to multiply that by negative four. So I will get negative four times zero is zero. Negative four times one is negative four. Negative four times negative two is positive eight. When I add them, I get three, zero, nine. And if I divide this by three, I will get one, zero, three. And remember, that's what I'm trying to make. One and zero right here, right? So I have one and zero right there. What's my solutions? My solution is three. So this shows 1x is equals to 3. So that shows 1x equals to 3. It means 1y is equals to negative 2, 1x is 3. So the solution set is going to be 3 and negative 2 for that problem. Let's look at one more example. So first, we're going to write it in a matrix format which means just copy the number from x and y and the solutions. Make sure it's the same order. So you start with x, so you're going to start with x and y and solutions. And remember what we're trying to do. We're trying to do 1, 0, 0, 1 and solutions, right? Oops. Um, So in order to get there, let's try to make this one zero first. So I will multiply row one by negative three and row two multiply by two. So I will have six and negative six, which is opposite. I will get negative six and 9 and negative 18 and multiply the roll 2 by 2 you get 6 8 and 1 half times 2 1 half times 2 you get 2 is same as 2 over 1 reduce you get 1 so it will be 1 and you're adding those two lines you get 0 17 negative 17 and now let's try to make this one one right so then that means 17 we wanted to have one so we will divide this by 17 so this will stay at zero and 17 over 17 is one negative 17 over 17 is negative one and this is going to be new row two so we have now new row, 0, 1, negative 1. So looking at this, you can tell your y is equals to negative 1. Let's see if we can get a uh, new first row. So new first row, I wanted to get the second column 0 first. So in order to make this 0 from the new row 1, a uh, new row 2, you're going to multiply that by 3. So I will do, uh, just copy down the row 1, which is going to be 2, negative 3, and 6. And new row 2, you're going to multiply that by 3. Then I will get 0 times 3 is still 0. 1 times 3 is 3. Uh, negative 1 times 3 is negative 3. When you add this, you get... 2, 0, 3. Cancel out, right? And we wanted to make this value, this value 1, right? So now we're going to divide whole thing by 2. So 
this will stay zero as it is but this will change to one right that will give me one zero and three over two and that's going to be zero one so i will get one zero three over two you look like you will get x is equals to 3 over 2 as the solutions. So solution set is 3 over 2 for x and negative 1 for y. So this is basically how you're going to use matrix systems to solve the linear equation with two variables. And the next example, we're going to look at not always have one solutions, right? Sometimes you have many solutions and no solutions. And I wanted to show you how um, you will find that using um, Gauss-Jordan method. So if we're looking at example C, we have 2 from x and negative 1 from y and 4 solutions, negative 6 from x and positive 3 from y and negative 12 as the solutions on the second equations. Let's try to make this one 0 first. So I'm going to multiply the row 1 by 3. So I will get positive 6 negative 3 and 12 and row 2 as it is you get negative 6 3 and negative 12 when you add them cancel out cancel out you get 0 oh they're all canceling out 0 0 so this is going to be new row 2 you don't even have to divide with anything because it's all 0 so you will get new row 2, 0, 0, and 0. So if you have this where everything is 0, it means x disappear, y, there is no variable x, no y, and this is holding a, a, um, the true statement, right? 0 is equals to 0. In this case, we're going to say you're going to have many solutions. They cancel each other out because they're the same equations. It's just the one is the larger values than the other, right? So in this case, this one have many solutions. And we learned from the system of linear equation, if you have a many solution, it's going to be independent systems and same lines, right? Okay. Um, Sometimes when we have a many solutions and same line, they want you to find the uh, still the solution set. How do we do that if you have a um, zero zero? So what you're going to do is you're going to find the equation for your x then, right? Your y is going to be zero zero. So what you're going to do is pick one of the equations and solve for x. By first, you're going to add both sides by y. So it will be y plus 4. And divide by 2 on both sides. So you get 1 over 2y plus 2. So because there's many solutions, your y values is going to be equals to any numbers. So we will say y value is going to be any real numbers, right? So then we should be able to replace this with the any real numbers plus 2 is going to be your x value. So you can either write it this way or you um, the solution set is going to be x is going to be 1 over 2t plus 2 and your y value is going to be t. So uh, giving our solutions with the open equation form, right? That's how you can answer having a many solutions when you're using the matrix system and if they're asking for a set of the solutions.
Let's look at D. Uh, what about this one? What types of uh, solution this is going to have? So we have 2, 4x, 6, 4y, negative 3, 4 solutions, 1, 4x, 3, 4y, 2, 4 the solutions. We're trying to make it 0 here. So we're going to multiply the second equation by negative 2 to make it opposite of 2. So row 1 is going to be um, 2, 6, negative 3 as it is. Row 2 will be multiplied by negative 2, so you become negative 2, negative 6, negative 4. When you add them up, cancel it out. There is no more x and no more y, but you end up getting negative 7. So in this case, you have new second row as 0, 0, negative 7, right? So you cancel out variable x, cancel out variable y, but is equals to negative 7, which is not a true. Uh, 0 cannot be equals to negative 7. That's not equals to, right? In this case, you will have no solutions. And system is going to be inconsistent. When you have no solutions, you cannot even write um, solution set. So that's it for these types of questions. Next sections, we're going to look at um, the longer matrix, not two by two, uh, two by three, or solving two equation. What about if you have a longer equations, many more equations? Right? That's what we're going to look at in next sections.